see how this goes. Um, let's go with the speed. Let's get the spoon beast. I mean, speed boost. Let's do 10% more damage just total. There we go. So many little bats. Uh oh, this is an elite bat here. Oh, we can get storm javelin. Nice. Uh, no, you only have vampire survivors at this point. Honestly, was considering Brotato. So I, I think what McQueen said earlier is really uh, important for Brotato. So Brotato is, I, I, I think it's super fun, right? And there are some really creative, cool builds you can go with in that game. Like there's, there's a, there's a potato form you can unlock that allows you to do 12, up to 12 weapons instead of the standard six weapons. And you can go nuts on that. And like, there's crazy stuff, but the, there isn't the meta progression that you see in like Vampire Survivors or like in this game where there's like a set of achievements they want you to, to unlock in order to progress the account. There's more potatoes to unlock from doing certain things, but that's it. So keep that in mind, how important the meta progression is for you. Did you try the uh, Vampire Survivors DLC? Marauder as well? Bone Razor minions didn't grab me as, uh, as much as these other ones, Zachronos. Yeah. Oh, you haven't tried it yet, okay. Yeah, that seems fun too. Um, Storm Javelin. Up to wave eight, gang. There's an avocado, give me that. This is getting spicy again. I feel like my, uh, my attacks are not keeping up with the waves. We might need some more passive unlocks. This game will get easier as we put more things in the skill tree. You think it's the price point that, suck, that sucks you in? It's hard, it's really hard to argue with like a game that's $3, you know, or $4. Now spending thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars, sixty dollars, seventy dollars for a game, and then you get disappointed by it. It's terrible. Buy a game for three or four dollars that you know just by looking at it for five seconds that you're gonna have fun playing it. <laughs> you know. Potato has overwhelmingly positive reviews in like 20k though. I, I like it. I, I played it a lot. It's one of my top played games on the Steam Deck. Yeah. I don't want to talk you out of it. It's fun. I got two things in that chest. That was a good one. But I think, um, I think with Brotato, well, I think what they're missing is, like, I don't think there's a way to, correct me if I'm wrong, those of you who have played it. I don't think there's a way, like, in this one, where I'm getting gold after every run to make my future runs easier. I, I, I think that that's missing, right?
If I want to do speed, is that going to help me? I really need to find more fruit like this. Wave 10? Are you kidding me? I must have fruit. All right, here we go. I had to use my uh, active ability to get out of there. Come on. Warrior, your life force is running out. Warrior needs food badly. Warrior needs avocado badly. Ooh, final wave. Oh shit. Things got serious all of a sudden. Um Give me some more chicken. Are they giving me time to like Oh boy. He's got a coffin on his back with a giant hand. Oh, here we go. The boss is here. Let's try to melt him down. Okay. Interesting. Coins. Avocados. I'm nowhere near the boss. Not really hurting the boss too much. I think I'll just run around and wait for my uh, my ability to come off a cooldown. We'll visit him when my ability's back. I need levels. Is that food up there? All right, let's see my skills off cooldown. Let's go. Drain his essence. Drain his essence. Minions got stronger. That's because I'm taking too long. Shit. Um, Dragon Heart. Watermelon. Minions got stronger. It's like a soft and rage. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill him with just... My ability it doesn't come off cooldown enough. Avocado. Oh, oh, one more touch. One more touch and we're done. Uh. We're done. Fudge. Not too bad, though. <laughs> Here's my panic path. The path of panic. <laughs> I really want to see somebody, like, make art out of this path. That'd be impressive. 
Yeah, it gets easier with unlocks. Yeah, of course. Yep. Bad touch. Bad touch. All right, we got 2,000 monies. Unlocked? Melee attack with great... I thought we had Quicksilver Spears. Coin purse. 20% money gain when picking up money. 25% damage for four seconds. Ooh, nice. Ah. All right, upgrades. Um... Skill cooldown by 3%. I wonder what the strategy is in terms of how to spend money efficiently. Like, go down one path or spread it out evenly? Like, what is better? Because everything in that row gets more expensive when you spend a little. Oof. Actually, let's, let's respec. Don't you want money gain to be pretty high so that you come out with more money? Right? I would assume that's a good call. Let's try that. Try the graveyard. Let's try Saul. So he's got magic missiles, shoots eight magic pellets around me. I'm gonna have some roasted delish, deluxe, I almost said delicious, mixed nuts. Hi, Fizz. All right. Better call Saul. All right, seems like, oh, okay, Magic Staff is different, right? Well, that's what I started with. Let's do upgraded. So the other weapons are not specific to a character, but your starting weapon is different. It is a gift, a gift to the friends of the otters. Got the shark. Thank you for gifting a sub to Rabbit. One more newer gifted sub, gang. We're going to do our first giveaway of the day. Thank you, Cuddly Shark. 56 gifted subs in the channel now for Cuddly Shark. You're amazing. Um... I think the leather bracer is really nice. All right, let's try our, our active ability. Oh, uh, okay. I wow. I think the I think the active ability of the other character is way stronger. I mean, I guess this one's better against hordes. It's harder to kill these elites though.
One more, Marauder. One more. Oh, the cooldown comes up much quicker. Okay. There's the trade-off. I think I like crawling root. I don't know what my favorites are yet. Magnifier. Coin. More coins. Boom. Your favorite one is the thing that does the thing and the other thing? Yeah, that one's my favorite too. We have the same favorites. Isn't that uncanny? Necromancer gauntlets. Do better crawling roots. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. What do you guys like better, the gauntlets or the volcanic orbs? So, circling meatballs of doom or a short range force lightning. You think meatballs or doom are better? Your headphones still cut out when you're in the laundry room, Runner? That's so funny. Uh-oh, embrace the dark side. I need somebody to break the tie. Meatballs or dark side? Eloquent broke the tie. There we go. Chicken I didn't need. Chicken a la king. Finish him. Too brutal. What does that book do? Oh, faster cooldowns? Everything's firing like crazy. Oh, nice. Let's take the coin purse for the first time. And that was pretty fun.
speed seems really useless it makes you run into things more you're faster than the bad guys what am i missing so as as the hordes grow right and there's tighter spaces being able to maneuver through the path is key yeah speed is not useless Sparkle says, game bought and install took less than a minute. Darn you, bog. Another 40 hours will be gone for my life. And I'm not even sorry. Hope you enjoy it. Like right now, when the, the monsters are sparse, you might be like, well, speed's not really helping you with much. Later on, it's like the one thing that keeps you alive you bought it too arrow nice hope you enjoy it yeah for those of you who were intrigued by uh vampire survivors but like the pixel art wasn't doing it for you This seems like an, a great alternative. So like being able to speed my way out of that is where speed would come in, right? How many devs saw Vampire Survivors and says, what am I doing? I'm going to make this game with better graphics. Or not just better graphics, but just their own spin on it with a unique idea to make it, you know, different or their own. There's at least... I can't name them all, but I, I think there's at least eight games that I could probably find for you that are Vampire Survivors based. At least eight. All right, what do we want here? What do we want as our last passive? More health? Try health. What is more compelling about this versus the one yesterday? Hmm. Graphic style? I don't know if I played this one enough yet. I, like, I haven't evolved any of the weapons. The, the one, the game yesterday, I was evolving weapons pretty damn quick. And um, I'm definitely curious to see all of the weapons once they're evolved. But I wonder once I... Uh, I also like the uh, in the other one how... The upgrade trees are different for each of the characters. So you're not just choosing like, this is very Vampire Survivors like. Every time I level, this pops up and interrupts the game and I choose uh, a weapon or a passive or upgrade a weapon or a passive. The one yesterday allowed you to save up levels, didn't interrupt you every time you gain a level and you can go in and like spend all your updates at once. And they had a different like skill tree pattern for each of the classes that was different. Also, the other one um, has got like the whole, you know, realms of North Norse mythology thing going. Right now, Midgard and Alfheim are the two zones that are available, but they'll eventually have all nine realms. Yeah.
that being said i've only this is only my third run of this one so we'll see uh we'll see how this goes Might and Moen is good, but very early. Might and Moen. Nordic Ashes also had those little on screen, like, ritual things. Where, hey, you want this chest? You got to kill 300 enemies within a certain radius of this chest before it'll open. Which I thought was pretty unique and cool. crystals look at all these crystals can't take it no more Ooh, that was a bomb a what a bomb You actually prefer the art style of the Nordic Ashes of this? There you go. This has like a World of Warcrafty kind of cartoony style to it. Um, I've really been leveling this up. Coin purse, eighty percent money gain when picking up money, hundred percent damage for seven seconds. That seems pretty damn good. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry. Chicken. Now I just need to find coins. Here we go. Here's a coin to increase my damage. Damage up! Fire rate. It looks like Dungeon Defenders. I don't know if I played that. Uh oh, here's the final wave already. Um, more health.